Hi there, in today's video uh, we're going to have a look at some braces or most commonly called arm guards. We're going to have a look at a few different types um, the types I prefer and the sort of advantages and disadvantages and how to look after them kind of thing. So I've got a few different types here um, this one is actually my son's one um, this is quite a cheap flexible uh, small one really for children but I have seen adults wear these as well and obviously on these ones what you get is you get these toggles which are quite easy to um, move and when you put it on um, they stay on quite well and a lot of people use these toggles uh, with the springs in them to tighten it up not my preferred choice um, but that is one option uh, the second option I've got here, which is one that I use quite a lot indoors, because what I do is I kind of put it over uh, a t-shirt or a compression layer sleeve. Um, I quite like this one because it was quite large. It covered quite a lot of my arm. Uh, the only downside to this uh, of this one is this kind of um, the elastic kind of gone on it really, and it kind of needs replacing. And I've had this about nearly three years but I haven't worn it a lot and it's got a slight uh, crease in the plastic here where it looks like it's gonna it could could go um, but one of the disadvantages of this type is it's got this kind of push and release little clip here and what I have found that when it's under pressure and it's on your arm if you accidentally kind of touch it it will kind of pop open um, and it's quite difficult to do up on your own um, and obviously that can be a problem if you're kind of under pressure at a competition and it suddenly kind of un undoes itself before you're about to go on to the line. Um, it's, it's kind of a worry. So that's one main disadvantage of that one. Although I, I do still like to wear it if I've got a t-shirt on. Um, my third preferred choice is then when I found these Avalon. Now, I think Boning actually produced these as well, these sleeves um, with, with the rubber guard on them. Um, this one I've got here, uh, I've got a medium, uh, well I've got a medium uh, size uh, and I've got a generally average size kind of arm. I've seen some people by mistake order the larges and it just kind of slips off their arm so I'd kind of recommend uh, the medium really. Um, you will get a few marks on your arms from the elastic on here but after a couple of hours but that just soon vanishes. Um, and they are quite comfortable and, and obviously the best thing about them is they're easy to put on and just slide it onto your arm, um, which I'll just do here. It's just like a glove sleeve really, you know, it just goes straight on and it protects your arm quite well. Uh, these come in a range of colours uh, and they're quite cheap as well. I think they're kind of six to kind of eight pounds you might find those for English pounds there. Um, Obviously, I like them so much. I bought I bought quite a lot of different colours. So I've obviously got the uh, got the grey one there. I then went out uh, and bought the black one. Obviously, in archery, it's really good to have a spare of everything in case something goes wrong. Um, but then, because of my outfits, I then decided to buy the blue one. Fortunately, they don't do a navy, a dark blue. So we've got this kind of electric kind of blue here, which isn't too bad. And finally, then I decided to go out and buy the red one as well. So I've got four. Um, I only really uh, wear the grey and the blue one at the moment, but obviously the black one and the, and the red one will come in. Uh, I did email Avalon and ask them about the best way to wash these because obviously I've used the grey one a lot and it, after a while it does kind of start to whiff and smell a little bit. Now they tell me not to put them in the washing machine basically due to the, uh, the rubber on here. So what I've done previously is I've just gone, gone and done a hand wash on... Uh, on these uh, on the gray one and, and just brings it up a tree and also it um, obviously smells a lot nicer as well and will actually last a lot longer um, so they've been pretty good I mean I've had this gray one kind of two and a half years um, nothing's really gone wrong with it yet um, the only thing I could see at the minute is there's a slight little hole there underneath the uh, underneath one corner of the stitching of the rubber but uh, as I say they're quite cheap um, and I've never really had a problem with them yet. So that's one I would recommend is the sleeves on the arm if, if you uh, if you like that sort of thing. And obviously, um, 
There are other things on the market that you could buy, but that was just a, uh, a look at those three arm guards and braces. Okay, that's it for now.